We love it when a destination exceeds all expectations, and that's exactly what Flores Guatemala did. This colorful, peaceful, and very picturesque town is perfect for both relaxation and adventure. Located in Petén, the northernmost department of Guatemala, Flores is also a great place for exploring some of the most famous Mayan sites in the world. So, in this video, we'll show you the activities you can do, the food you can eat, how much it costs, and our best tips for getting the most out of your time in the beautiful Flores, Guatemala. After exploring Belize for two weeks, we booked a transfer heading to Flores, Guatemala. So we booked our transfer to Flores with Maya Walk Tours. Now I won't lie, that transfer was kind of expensive. It was 55 US dollars per person, but that is door to door service. After a 30 minute ride, we reached the Belize Guatemala border, where we had to change drivers as Belizean drivers can't drive in Guatemala. So another successful border crossing. We're in Guatemala now, country number 39 on our world tour, and super excited to see everything it has to offer. When we had to cross the Belizean border, we did have to pay an exit fee of $20 US, $40 Belize. We stayed at Hotel Villa del Lago, which has small but clean rooms with excellent lake views. And at $63 a night, we loved having this balcony with such a great view. And David is here demonstrating how to relax in a hotel room. So we're starting our time here in Flores by doing the most popular attraction, Tikal, a Mayan archeological site that we cannot wait to see. We booked a tour through our hotel. It includes transportation to the site and a guide and not very expensive as well. So from the ticket check station, it takes about a 15 minute walk to get to the first plaza. So we're heading toward Complex Q. I'm actually excited to see this one after seeing the others. I've wanted to see to call for a while. So I'm just excited with the anticipation of what it would actually look like to see it in person. Now these pyramids were built between 250 and 900 AD and the stone tablets in front were used to document important events. So now we're heading into Complex R and into the main plaza. So the thing about Tikal is that it's huge, much bigger than I had originally imagined. So it's over 250 square miles of national parks. So the pyramids are spread out all over the complex. So it is a significant walk, like 15 minute walk between sites. So plan to be walking plan to bring a lot of water. So from the North Acropolis, you really can get a good lay of the land and just see how vast this complex really is. Oh my goodness. You know, I was expecting to see two of these things, right? I'm so shocked. We came up here. Look, there's one there, one over there, one there, one there. And behind these trees is another big one right there. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of towers. Now the Grand Plaza is the most popular spot in Tikal because you have these tall twin towers right across from one another. And they were placed perfectly astronomically so that when the different solstices happened, the shadow of this tower would completely engulf the twin tower. An interesting way how they built astronomy into their faith and into their architecture. They also have these stone monuments where they were able to document events. These tablets were like the books of the Maya. Now we're going to go explore the central Acropolis. And something like this would have been a bedroom. Bed right here in the center. 
So now we're going to head to Temple 2 to see the beautiful views from there. And the view from the top of Temple 2 is just spectacular. You can see the Northern Acropolis and Temple 1. The best view in the house in my opinion. Tip, wear a moisture wicking shirt. I don't know if you can see how sweaty I am. <laughs> Wish I wore an athletic shirt instead. Next up, Temple 4. So many stairs. So many stairs. I wasn't ready for this many stairs. So from the top of Temple 4, you can see the tops of Temple 1, 2, and 3. Loving it. It's just incredible here. So the things I found most surprising about my time here in Tikal is just how spread out everything is. So to get to Temple 4 is a full 40 minute walk. So things are not close together. So dress for hiking more than tourism. There are no trash cans in the whole park. So whatever trash you have from water bottles, Gatorade bottles, you have to take out with you. So have a bag big enough that can take out any trash with you. There is a tiny stand by the Grand Plaza where you can buy some more water and some snacks like Doritos, but nothing major. So no major food or drink stands inside the park. And I think having a guide is useful just because of the sheer size of the park. They can help you narrow in and focus on the best highlights instead of you trying to wear yourself out covering, you know, 200 square miles of park. The next day we hired a boat to take us to a viewpoint of Flores and to the beach. The ride is short but scenic. So here we are on the other side of Flores Island and we're about to hike up to the Mirador El Viewpoint to get a good view of Flores from across the water. So it's supposed to be a 10 minute climb and our boat's gonna wait for us and then take us to a beach that's nearby. Altogether round trip, we paid 200 Gonzales for two people. So let's see what it's like. So this is your challenge. It's a great way to get those legs burning, get your heart pumping. So it kind of doubles your cardio when you get those stairs. You don't have to like it though. The stairs are our free gym membership because travel is a workout in and of itself. And just when you thought you were done, there's another flight of stairs. <laughs> get to climbing, David, get to climbing. There it is, our final set of stairs and the viewpoint. Please take off your shoes. So pretty painted stairs. That's why they want you to take off your shoes so you don't ruin the mural that's on the platform. Oh. From this viewpoint, you can see expansive views of Flores Island and a Peten Lake. It's definitely worth the climb. One thing's for sure though, a rainy day at the beach is better than a sunny day at the office. Now we were here in June, right in the middle of rainy season. And just like clockwork, it rains every afternoon in Pet 10 during rainy season. So now it's time for a little movie magic. Just look at that water. It's like we're in the Caribbean. But we're not, we're on a lake inland Guatemala. This is Chechenal Beach, and entry is just 10 quetzals, or 128. So what's nice about this beach is that there's plenty of these little huts, so you have some shade when you want to, and plenty of sun as well. The water quality is much better here than at Flores, so that's what makes this beach a lot better for swimming. We didn't see much in the water, just one solitary fish, but it was still very relaxing nonetheless. But no, 
Now let's show you our favorite restaurants in Flores. Our absolute favorite was Maracuya. So I'm really loving this restaurant. Not only do they have loads of vegan options and flavorful food, they have dozens of butterflies to see and they're just gorgeous. Next, for delicious street food, you can try Tacos Los Peces. Now, just across from the main church on the hill is a taco stand. It even has some Mexican-style vegan tacos, so we're going to check it out. So we're trying this that's supposed to be made out of mushrooms. This is the mushroom mix right here. So, eso se llama que? Si quinche quiere decir oreja de palo. Oreja de palo, Ajá. como champiñón. Ajá. Si quinche es un nombre maya. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. David, how is it? It's really good. It's hot. <laughs> it's tasty. So it really is quite flavorful. And for the small, small price of 50 consolas, it's definitely worth stopping by, getting a quick bite, and enjoying some local street food. For brunch, we recommend Maple Tucino, which has delicious drinks, desserts, and breakfast food. We have some avocado toast with and so to be honest, the savory with the sweet, the savory beans with the sweet plantains, a little strange. My mouth is a bit confused, but it's also delicious, so. But they both taste really good. It's just the combination. I mean it though, it's delicious. We also highly recommend Nativo. This restaurant has such flavorful appetizers and their specialties of agua chile and ceviche are absolutely delicious. So much flavor. These dishes are delicious, but you have to understand, these are served cold. So that means that although they look like they're hot and steamy, they're not. It's actually a cold dish like salad, but it tastes delicious. We also managed to get one more Mayan site in, Jasha. Now this site is not as popular as Tikal, but it's still very interesting and worth seeing. Now back in the day, these pyramids were painted red to represent blood, and they were used for both rituals and to track the movement of the sun to document solstices and equinoxes. And because of our tour guide, we were even able to have a close encounter with some wildlife. Only pass me your hand. <laughs> oh, oh. Is this one venomous? They're not okay. poisonous. No, no, no. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know. She's poisonous, I take in my hand. No, I know crazy, yeah? yeah. And my first time holding a tarantula. Uh-huh, maybe the last one day, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Look at the people, it's mad. <laughs> okay, you can take them back now. <laughs> David got to try too. Tranquilo. Uh, can you close the, the hand? Yes. Uh, I mean, it does kind of look like a little pet, but I'm still not interested. I don't want to touch it. He likes you better. He's so sweet. He's like, look at him putting his legs up. He's like, what do I do? So, how do you feel, David? <laughs> oh, are you sorry? 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 Our favorite part of this park, though, was the North Acropolis, which has three large pyramids right side by side with one another. So when you come to Flores, be ready to climb up dozens of ruins. I mean dozens. Oh, my legs are burning. <laughs> There's still more to go. It's a fantastic view. And you can look and see the whole city center really beneath us and nothing but jungle around us. And now we're hiking through the jungle to the last temple. And the last stairs of the
the day. There's no better way to end your time in Pet 10 than with a beautiful sunset from the pyramids of Joshua. So when you come to Flores, allow at least three to four nights to discover the color, the tranquility, and the history of this region of Guatemala. I think a big mistake travelers make is not allowing enough time here because there seems like there's only a couple of things to do. But Flores is such a special place that we didn't mind spending a full seven days here. Flores, Guatemala quickly went from being a place we never heard of before to being a place we will never forget. And we hope you have the same positive experience there as well. Our next stop is Lenkin, Guatemala to see the gorgeous national park of Samuk Chan Peak. So please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get our best travel tips from Lenkin. Until then, be sure to check out our Belize travel guides on the right there. Thanks so much for watching and for sharing with all your travel friends. So happy travel planning until next time.